Hello, I'm BX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different for my channel because usually I'm teaching you how to do stuff in Minecraft. But in the background for my tutorials, I have pixelati stuff or builds that people are always asking me exactly how I build them. So I figured today, since you know building is one of the most important parts of Minecraft, I teach you exactly how to build not just one thing but three things. So first of all, I'll be starting with a really, really basic tutorial on how to make circles in Minecraft. You might already know this, but you might not know exactly why it works, and it's the sort of thing that can really help you out if you don't know how to make it. It can help you. Make Make some really fundamental builds and that's gonna be the first thing I do for a couple of minutes then I'll be moving on how to build exactly you know something like this this is one of the most requested like build guides I have and in reality even though it looks complex as like craziness it's actually really 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 easy to build it follows a pattern with a circle and it's actually a really really cool thing uh, you know that you can build complex things in modern buildings like this just using a basic pattern and then moving on from that I'll be showing you how to build a zombie pixel art. I have a giant zombie pixel art over here so I can build a regular size one next one it's gonna look a baby zombie but you know if you want to have like a zombie tearing down one of your buildings in your world, it's something cool to have. Anyway, th those are the three things I'll be showing you in today's video. If you like the sound of any of them, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it. And let's get straight into the video then, shall we? So let's start by explaining how to build a circle. So like I mentioned, you might already know how this works, but you might not know exactly why it works the way it does. Um, because most people, when they first go to make a circle, back when you first made, uh, got to Minecraft, you probably tried the same. You're like, okay, so I've got four points. I want to make a circle between these. I'll just draw a line between each of the things. And it seems re uh, reasonably logical to you look at it and you realize oh look at this 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 should be like a semicircle but instead it's just a triangle how, how does that even work so I'll be uh, uh, the, the basic reason why that works is in real life when you have a circle you can't just you know connect the lines up that will give you a square thing too and you, uh, you basically what you have to do is you have to have a line which slowly changes the gradient to kind of change until it's suddenly going vertical so it starts horizontal then just suddenly shifts and becomes horizontal so it's really really weird to explain but basically it kind of makes an outer curve kind of format which means instead of starting and going diagonally which would give you a gradient of one 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 will start by uh, just going entirely horizontal. So this is, uh, you know, this is purely horizontal, no verticalness. Then we'll go a little bit, you know, um, vertical, but mostly horizontal. So this is 0.5 blocks up per block to the side. Then we have one to one. Then we have two blocks up to one block to the side. And then we have just fully vertical. And you might think that makes not too much sense. But through the very slow changing of the gradient of the curve, we have something that looks like this, which might not look too much like a curve yet. But if we do this for all of the sides, so uh, go two, then go one, then go two up, then go one. Then we do the same over here, and even on a really small circle like this, because bear in mind, the bigger the circle you get, the more realistic it looks. Even with the smallest possible circle like this, you can still see this looks like a circle. You can see it. If we put, like, uh, an arrow marker in the center, can we actually do that? Um... This will actually look like it's a, a crosshair or something like that. And you can, or like, you know, crosshair in a circle like that. Because you can actually see, like, the, the gradient changing that looks, uh, you know, to your eyes like a circle a little bit. So, the bigger, the, uh, the bigger you know, the distance you have, the more realistic a circle you can make. You can never make a perfect circle in Minecraft, because in any game you can never make a perfect circle. And in real life, there really isn't such thing as a perfect circle, except there is. It's confusing. Basically, uh, the bigger the circle, the more realistic it looks. The closer to perfect you'll get, but you'll never get truly perfect. So, bear in mind with a big circle like this, we actually get quite close. Um to the regular circle thing. So instead of like 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, I think it was, this is 5, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, then 2, then 3, then 5. And you can see, even with just a small change like that, you get quite a circular building. And although this is designed to look quite square, that's why I use a lot of stone blocks, uh, you can see that you get this really cool circle appearance from it, but yet you still get all the space on the inside and all the kind of design space, as if it is almost squarish, which I think is really cool. And like I mentioned, this seems like it's such a difficult thing to build, but all you need to do is build that first circle down here and then follow a pattern up. I mean, these sides here are an exception, but all the corners of this, the design is as simple as stone bricks, three layers of glass, one layer, uh, one block of your choice. In this case, I'm using emerald blocks, but you can use whatever. Then one layer of uh, stone brick, then three layers of glass, one thing of your choice, and uh, then three layers of glass, and then so on and so forth. You can do this all the way up. And if you don't have emeralds, you can just use uh, black stained clay or any color stained clay, for instance, and you know to make it like a personalized building. And you can see from the front here, even with a color like this, it still blends in really well. And it looks decorative, and it looks like it's so ornate, but in reality, the outside of the building is just such a simple pattern. It's just the three layers glass and that one not the only moderately complex things to build are the kind of like the bridge between them which is just it, it kind of copies the same pattern you can see it's stone brick three layers of glass then the block and then you just want to have glass on the top and bottom and then finally when you get to the top you just have to make it slowly edge in one block each time where it's like three layers of glass one block into the emerald one block into the stone three layers of glass and so on and so forth it literally is using that exact same pattern to make a building as complex as this and that might seem like it's craziness but it's actually really really easy to build a building which looks as complex as that you just need to use a simple pattern 
pattern that's just about complex enough that it's not immediately recognizable, but is still, you know, kind of ornate enough that you can build something that looks like this. So yeah, that's how you make a towel like this. Use a basic pattern. Pick a shape and then kind of stick to it. And then you have a tiny bit of changes on the sides like I have. And then you have an entrance and boom, you've got yourself a unique little tower. Anyway, let's move on to the final attraction or the main attraction. I don't know which one it is uh, for the thing because uh, having a giant zombie to knock over the tower is something I think will be a really cool idea. And if you like this idea too and you want to do it, then I figure you're going to need to know how to make a zombie. So if you have a regular sized building, like let's say half the size of this, then you need a regular sized zombie. If you need to make a giant building like I've done here, you're going to need a giant zombie. So bear in mind that's going to take double, no, four times the blocks so just something to bear in mind and uh, yeah let's show you how to make this zombie ready shall we so i'm going to use four blocks uh, five blocks for this one we get oh, i don't really need the black stained glaive for that much but i'm mostly using gray wool light gray wool uh, light blue wool sorry uh blue wool and then lime stained clay the lime stained clay is to give the skin a different appearance from the clothes it makes things look that little bit more realistic and let's show you how you finally do it then shall we so we'll go uh kind of actually we'll go a little bit behind this zombie and then to the back of them a little bit so uh basically what you want to do is you want to have a four by four uh, kind of foot. This is a single foot design. I don't know if that's like a shoe the zombie's wearing there or if it's what, but basically this is uh, what the zombie actually is. Uh, you know, let me just actually show you a zombie. Let's uh, get one and let's show you in there. So you can see when he's not on fire, so we'll let, <laughs> let's actually make ourselves a little uh, a holding self him, I guess. Uh, you can see when the zombie is not on fire that he's got these little shoe things there. I don't know what they're meant to be, but that is just a thing that they do have. So yeah, uh, it starts with just a little shoe, which is uh, two, uh, two blocks up like this. And then uh, on the back, it goes a little bit higher, but we can deal with that later. Um, something like this. That's what it looks like. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to now have a second foot to go on the same like this. Because obviously, zombies have two legs. If you want to have one leg, just ignore this second bit. Um, I have a one-legged Steve that looks pretty cool. If you want to have a one-legged zombie, maybe this is a house. That's something you can totally do too. But yeah, for now, uh, that's what it looks like. And then we'll have the back filling on like that. Because the shoes, like, you know, the shoe with the heel goes up higher than the front of it does. And it looks something like that. Anyway, moving on from here, let's move on to the leg next. So the leg is going to take a lot of blue wool. Just a warning and we're gonna go 12 blocks up from the ground so an extra 10 blocks up from the shoe so three four five six seven eight nine oh <laughs> 10 11 12 and then we do the same on each of the corners until we get to the exact same level so then we'll just uh cut across over here do the same over here and we're just gonna go for the wireframe build at first because that's the easiest way to show how it works and yeah from here it's uh only board that be nine blocks up so one two three oh <laughs> four five six seven eight oh Damn it, I keep double pressing A too much. And then 9. And as you can see, that gets you up to this exact same area. Uh, the smallest of changes you're going to make uh, after you've got this. So this is the leg design right here. There'll be... that You don't really... You can't really have a divider in the middle. Like, if you look at a zombie over here... Wait, where'd the zombie go? I had a hole... Okay, here's the hole in the ground for the zombie. Um... We place the zombie down. You can see there's no real divider between the legs except when he's moving. So when he's standing still, uh, we can try and just have like a dark color there later. But for now, it's not a problem we're dealing with. Anyway, uh, a small thing on the zombie is you'll notice that he's got like a few blocks like this where the shirt hangs over the uh, trousers. So you just want to have something like that there. It just makes it look a little bit more realistic. I don't know why, but that's that's kind of what they do. So we're just something like that. Now we cover the rest of these in blue, and these are the legs. So we're going to deal with the rest of this later, of course, but for now, you just need to bear in mind, this is solid blue, just it's not filled in yet. So let's move on to the uh, shirt then. So the shirt is the same color as this, because the shirt's just hanging over the jeans. I think I, they must be jeans that he's wearing. Anyway, uh, from from the shirt, it's an extra 12 blocks up to the torso, so it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we do the same on each side, again and again and again. Uh, you can actually make a lot of... Um, reasonably convincing uh like if you want to make any skin like this as long as you know how like you know the general thing looks you just need to know these basic dimensions and you can make you know the torso make the arms do all that sort of things and uh, i even made like my current or my you know the suited toy cat skin if you look over there just by doing the same thing but looking at the toy cat skin and doing it obviously it looks more like a robot but still it's something you can do and uh also, the uh, baby zombie is coming together quite nicely. So yeah, uh, you want to just go all the way up to the top here. I don't know if I did too many blocks up here, so let's just recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 12. So yeah, this block was extra, and now we just uh, connect all of these up, and boom, we've got the torso done too. Now we just need to do the arms, which are going to be a little bit more complex, and we need to do the head. So the head is an 8x8 eight eight kind of thing, so it needs to go two blocks off on each side of the thing. So actually, wait, so uh, if it's 8 blocks, then that means it covers the entire torso, maybe? I... No, wait, the, this should be, okay, so, or maybe it's, uh, so, okay, but anyway, uh, it go, it's going to go something like this, so one, two, three, four, five, I think it has to cover the entire head in this case, but it shouldn't do, so we're going to go by six by six, um, just to make life a tiny bit easier, so two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, uh, yeah, I, I made a small error somewhere in, the, in this thing, but it's still going to make the baby zombie look just fine here, and there we go, two, 
three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And then, boom, as you can see, uh, we have successfully made ourselves a zombie. So now we just want to put some facial expressions on there. Uh, zombies don't have mouths, so, you know, it kind of looks out of place when you do it. But if you want to have one anyway, just do that. Have some eyes. And then fill in the rest of the face with green, because that's what they look like. And boom, we've got ourselves a zombie. So as you can see, it looks like he just has an open mouth when you do that. So let's just remove that. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, you know, have some form of facial... Oh, actually, what we'll do is if we, uh, if we make the side block here, the eyes too, it kind of... That makes it look like a turtle, but you still you still get this, uh, the point. You just want to have some form of neutral expression uh, that doesn't make it look like he's a really happy zombie. But we'll go with the happy zombie now and deal with that later. Anyway, let's focus on the arms, because the arms do follow this uh, same kind of structure too here. Uh, so um, the arms of the thing are going to be for the first few blocks this way, and then sticking out a couple of blocks. It's going to be, uh, I think it goes to the six blocks where it's the arm. So this four here. So wait, let, okay, so it's four blocks out basically. So two, three, four, and then it's six blocks of... Um, of more shirt, and then we move on to baby zombie arms. So it's going to look something like one, two, three, four, five, six. And now the baby zombie is held, holding out his arms like so, and it looks uh, kind of realistic right there. So obviously you can see we need to go a few blocks down. Uh, so two, three, four. Uh, a lot of uh, Minecraft is in fours and eights and twelves, so that'll make it look something like this. And we can put something in his arm later, but for now, uh, once we get these done. You'll see it looks actually reasonably convincing. And again, if you want to make this into like a secret way to enter the zombie, because you want to make it as a house or something, uh, bear in mind you can do that here. But that is something we've got done, uh, going on here. So, uh, boom, two more blocks, and we've got ourselves the basic outline of the baby zombie. I guess we'll also do the, uh, you know, the kind of thing here, just so it links up and looks less crazy. Uh, we've got a single arm baby zombie. So, from here, again, you can just not do the other arm if you want to have a one-legged, uh, one-fingered zombie. But it's going to look slightly strange. I realize because I'm done the arm at full size, but the head's out of proportion, everything looks a little crazy. But, you know, baby zombie's going to look like that. Uh, just finish up the arm up here. And then, boom, we've got a very big uh, baby zombie arm for the size of the baby zombie, but it's still looking just fine. And uh, then we'll go two blocks this way, and then do the exact same here. And... Uh, also, we'll just do the torso while we're at it. So, uh, you can see, like, a lot of this is actually, uh, especially in survival, if you decide to do this, a lot of it is you have to fill in this stuff. Like, there's a very, very big uh, amount of this, which is just grab, like, stacks and stacks of each color of this wall, because you will need to fill in the entire torso, and it's going to look something along the lines of this. Anyway, with this done, and then once we get this filled in, just so it's not visible, and then we'll do the same over here, so we can at least get some form of a view on it. You can see from down here, the baby zombie is looking looking like he's terrorizing something. So, obviously you wanted to build this where you know you're going to build a building, or where you already have a building, and then you've got yourself a thing going on. So, just to clarify here, the head does go like this. Uh, ideally, you would have an 8x8 head, but it looks kind of uh, funny to have one that large. And I think this size looks a tiny bit better if it weren't for those facial expressions. And, uh, boom, we've got an apathetic one-armed zombie. We can do the second arm later, but I'm sure you understand how to do that. That's what I'm going to be doing with the giant zombie up here. But with more, the bigger the zombie, the more detail you can go into. So you can see he actually doesn't look like he's a, a ha kind of almost happy zombie there. Uh, you can see, like, if you look at the face but nothing else, it looks like he's kind of happy at the same time. Which isn't the kind of look you want to go for. So maybe if we just expand this to go like that, maybe. Yeah, that, that makes him just look happier. Maybe if we make him deliberately look happy. There we go, that's a zombie I can get behind. So yeah, <laughs> in all seriousness, uh, this is how you build it. I'm sure I don't need to do the second arm tutorial. But um, I'll, I, what I will do is I will quickly skip until I have done the second arm and uh, the kind of finish up the first bit. And I'll show you what it actually looks like when it's mostly done. So just going to quickly jump cut. Okay, so I finished the zombie and I finally worked out while it was up with the face because that was the real thing that made it look weird. Uh, the eyes were slightly too high up. They were one block too high up. So if you look at them here, it looks like, uh, you know, a reasonable face. I mean, with all the extra green I've placed around there. But if you, um, if you place them up here, for some reason, having higher placed eyes in the head makes the, the zombie just look like he's crazy. I don't... Like, there's just something weird and off about it. I, I don't know what it is. I Maybe mean, if we place them extra low down, we'd get something different. But yeah, that's how you make the zombie. Let's just see what it looks like down here, just for curiosity purposes. I mean, uh, it's for science. And then if we place that there, uh, you can see now he looks <laughs> now he looks even weirder. But yeah, that's a, that's a thing you can do. You can just go over no-eyed zombie if you think that looks better. Now we've got a blind baby zombie. And yeah, that's going to be next to the giant zombie uh, trying to take down these towers. I think it's a cool building to just uh, thing to just have there in the corner. You can use it as a base. You can use it as so many different things. And hopefully one of these free uh, pixel uh, the building tutorials did help you. If they did, please do like the video and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And if subscribe, you'll see them dead on your homepage. Thank you for watching.
And oh, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a panda like house built tutorial because I, I made this into a house that you can do stuff with. Yeah, let me know if you want to see that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.